Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this tutorial will be to focus and discuss how to work with the component state and life cycle together. In this tutorial, we will add a new method from the component life cycle to our tutorial. How to check the internet connectivity by using net info how to use the web view component to wrap a web page into your application and finally how to add the stack navigator to the web view to add a pack button above the web view now let's go in details Hi again and this is our example in this example we have a two main components the first component is a home screen and the second component is details screen as a note if you have any question about how to create components please take a look in the previous tutorials now let's take a look about home screen in the home screen we render a view as a container a view component and into view component we have a new component which called touchable opacity in touchable opacity we have a text this text has go to web as step string but first let's explain what is the touchable opacity component how it works touchable opacity component it is like a pattern in the web mostly used as this it is provide a touch space that you can customize to fit to your needs so when someone press on this space it will take an effect about his touch as example when someone press on go to web is step it will handle this press with the function handle opening web view and it will open the web view here in the touchable opacity we add a style and in the text we add another style this style is pattern style and this style is a text style let's see that in the pattern style we align the items to the center and adding a padding for the pattern and the width height and give a radius and background with the color as a blue then we have uh, a navigation options if you remember a navigation options with the header null to remove the header from the home screen if you don't remember about navigation options or you have no knowledge about navigation options and how to work with the navigation please take a look about the previous tutorials after this we add a new state with is connected object that has no value and we handle the value in other functions we have a two component life cycle functions the first one which is component did mount which worked after if you don't remember let's take a look again to the component life cycle as we discussed before that we have a constructor and here it is can be like this okay and this is the first initialized when we run the component after this it will call component will mount and then render render the component and finally component did mount 
This is the last function in the component life cycle when mounting the component. Again, when we initialize or create or mount the component in the first time, we call these four functions. First one, constructor. Second, component will mount. Third, render. Fourth is component dead mount. So after render the component, we call component dead mount. In the component dead mount, we add an event listener to listen to the connectivity for the internet by using net info. When the connection is changed, it will handle this by using handle connectivity change function. So when it will fetch the connect status and it's done, it will set the value to is connected state object. And after finishing to rendering the component, it will go to component will mount. Component will mount is a function in the unmounting life cycle. Let's see here. Unmounting, this is the method is called when a component is being removed from the DOM. Why we use this? Use this when we need to clean something after rendering the component to avoid the memory leaks, which is a most popular issue that we care about when using Android. Here, as you see, we call net info is connected to remove the listener when the connectivity change and call this handle connectivity change. What is the handle connectivity change? It will take a parameter with the state and its default will be null and set the last state for the connection. After this, we had a handle opening web view, which as you remember, called when we press on the touchable opacity, we call this handle opening web view. Let's see what is in the handle opening view. We have a two if statements. The first one, which is to check the is connected object in the state is false. If it is false, it will pop up an alert. Sorry, there is no internet connection and stop executing the action. Or if is connected object in the state is equal to true, which means that the connectivity is worked, it will go to the details screen by using navigation dot navigate, which use react navigation. As you see, react navigation is a library that used to navigate between screens. We use here a stack navigator. If you remember, this is a tutorial that we discussed before. Here we create a root stack that has a stack navigator with two screens. We define a home screen and details screen. And in the root options, we define the initial route name that define the first screen for the stack. And in navigation options, we add a header style with the background color is orange. And in the tint color, it will be a white color. This is the stack navigator. Now, when we go to the 
details screen what happened let's take a look in the render we have a view which work as a container for the web view and as mentioned when we pass flex one to the view this means that we need this view to cover the full screen in the web view we pass a five props but there is many props in the documentation as you see here there is many props the first one is automatically adjust contents inset and we make it false because we want to render the content as it is without any adjustments the second which is source it is required which used to refer to the website or the web page that rendered into the web view after this the javascript enabled to enable the javascript dom storage enabled to enable the dom storage and start in loading state to force the web view to show the loading when the loading the page on the first time above the web view we define the header that make us has the ability to go back to the home page and we define the header tint color and background color as we discussed before here here in the navigation options okay so we disable the header here in the home screen and enable it in the details screen now the time to run the example as you remember react native run android now let's open the emulator there is the emulator when i see this this is the home page with the pattern or touchable opacity go to web is step when i press on this button i will open the web view that hold the website web is step dot com this is my website when I want to go back I will press on back button but how I can check the next or the other option when the connection is disabled the internet is disabled I will go here and disable the internet and I will click again this is alert sorry there is no internet connection okay try again and make it enabled and click again I am going to the web view now I am going to explain uh, something is important so important which was why we need to use redox in some cases why the local state is not fit to our needs in some cases to explain this let's take a look in this code example as you see here we have a button in the home it's a close details screen we have this text which contained by touchable opacity now we want the pattern style for this pattern to be a background is a red color when the connection is disabled and blue when the connection is enabled so we can make a condition in the background here to check if the state in is connected 
is false or true to change the color for the background like this but the problem is we can't access the state the local state outside the component because this state is local state which means we can't use this state outside home screen the scoop for the state is inside the component let's try to see what happened when we use this as you see this is the error undefined is not an object evaluating this state is connected for situations like this we use a shared or a global state like using redox for sure this is not exactly the same situation but I do this example to explain why we need the shared state but to fix this it is simply we will remove the background from the pattern style and and append it internally in the home screen style like this just add an array with the curly presses into the style object and add a colon and after this add the condition if this state is connected at the background with the blue color else add the background with the red color let's test again now it is connected with the blue color let's disable and see done and see what happened it is red again connect and it is blue finally i hope this tutorial to be useful for you and if you have any question leave a comment in this tutorial if you like the video and want to get the latest tutorials subscribe to my channel with easy step and if you have any suggestion tutorials please leave it at the comments thank you for watching see you next bye